Dear audience, my name is Nancy Brown and I'm the CEO of ASH 2022 European Capital of Culture. Together with CONAS, we did realize a truly European project with many activities and events on a local or regional level, but we also had a lot of projects set up with CONAS and other ECOCs in order to develop the European dimension. As both cities were responsible to create impactful ECOC projects, in order to evaluate these impacts, we had different methods. Statistics from the database produced, which includes all the statistics of cultural activities, data from the project management platform, the results of a vast survey carried out among all ASH 2022 project partners, and various statistics from different studies carried out by national structures like IRES, STATAC or Visit Luxembourg. Just to mention beforehand, we haven't finished yet. The final report will be published end of 2023. And for all of you interested in this report, we can already order it now just by sending a message to nancy.brown at ash2022.nu. But for now, what are the major findings? First of all, cultural programming. Nearly 1,350 events and 3,145 cultural activities have been developed since 2020 through the 153 projects within the framework of ASH 2022. The ASH 2022 lineup included a wide variety of events. These could be both large-scale festivals and smaller activities such as workshops. All cultural fields were represented. Music and the visual arts represented nearly 50% of events carried out. During the year, the cultural program was spread throughout the territory of ASH 2022, both in France and in Luxembourg, but the municipality of ash sur hosted a significant part of these events. Over 10,000 artists and other collaborators were part of this adventure. The activities organized as part of ASH 2022 generated some 500,000 person visits, knowing that attendance at some of the activities could not be counted for example, at certain outdoor events or exhibitions, installations. Also, some cultural activities were broadcast via the web. Exhibitions, festivals and street performances were the events with the highest attendance. At national level, around a quarter of the population participated in a cultural event organized within the framework of ASH 2022. In our region, this percentage reaches more than 40%. 83% of the visitors were highly satisfied by their experiences made and 93% stated that they had a fantastic time. 91% would even recommend the events visited and 58% do perceive the region more attractive than before ASH 2022. And finally, 60% state that they will consider participating at events in the region in the upcoming months. So right after the year 2022. On the level of collaborations and partnerships, all of the project leaders have developed numerous partnerships with, for their projects, especially with municipal institutions, which has generated new avenues of collaborations at the local scale. The diversity of collaborators and partners also demonstrated the international and above all cross-border dimension of the event. ASH 2022 has given rise to a multitude of concrete artistic and cultural collaborations on the one hand with other two ECOGs in 2022, namely CONAS and Novisat, and on the other hand with partners at a wider international level. But the heart crisis had significant consequences for the preparation of our project, both for project leaders and cultural institutions, as well as for the ASH 2022 structure and other partners. This crisis has not only affected public participation during the launch phase of projects, but also during their development. COVID-19 has also had an impact on cultural practices. Despite this health crisis, the vast majority of objectives that the project leaders had set when launching their project were achieved, is stated at 94%. The teams carried out quality projects and managed to complete their tasks successfully. The level of satisfaction of visitors who took part in the events is best confirmation of this. The challenges were in many aspects. Many aspects constitute significant challenges for the project promoters. Public participation and communication were the most difficult aspects to manage. Among the various challenges faced by 
Ash 2022 project leaders, fundraising and financing are obviously a major concern. It has sometimes led to reassessment of the project. From an operational point of view, the workload and the time to find funding were substantial and heavy for the development of the project, hence the repeated suggestion to perpetuate and develop cultural patronage in Luxembourg. However, a majority of project leaders found solutions to the significant challenges they encountered. ASH 2022 was a real opportunity for project leaders to work with partners from other countries to develop exchanges at an international level or to perform or distribute works abroad. As seen earlier, a significant number of Luxembourgish and French artists have participated in the projects on both sides of the border. Concerning the legacy for project leaders, the development of partnerships, collaboration at local or international level, organizational and professional development, the visibility of their project and innovation are the aspects most cited by project leaders when asked what ASH 2022 has brought them. Project leaders claim to have acquired a wide range of personal skills and professional abilities, in particular through the opportunity to work on a larger scale. Many mentioned the hope that these new networks and this acquisition of know-how and knowledge will continue beyond 2022. The continuation of projects for a majority of project leaders say that a clear majority of their project activities will continue after 2022. 21% say that all activities will be continued, 60% that some activities will be continued. When asked for details of the question of the continuation of their project, many project leaders mentioned an probable, desired or confirmed continuation. Finally, some project partners also very often mention the legacy that will endure independently of the project. These are project results that will continue to be accessible to the public, such as murals, sculptures, literary works, musical recordings or films. Tourism was also a very important aspect of ASH 2022. Tourism initiatives have been put in place to promote and allow visitors to discover the region. The year 22 marked a gradual return to tourism after the COVID episode. At the Luxembourg level, the Minette region is one of the regions where tourist numbers have been developed the most favorably in 22, despite a more limited accommodation offer. The most important exhibitions and festivals show that one can attract international tourists to the region. The image of this cross-border region is beginning to change. Tourists visit the region more and more, especially thanks to its rich cultural and industrial heritage. About 60% of visitors of the ASH 2022 events are Luxembourg residents, more than a quarter, 27% are French residents and the remaining 30% are visitors from other countries. If we only take into account the events organized in Luxembourg, the proportion of Luxembourgers is higher. The increase in the number of tourists, plus 23% arrivals and plus 38 overnight stays in 2022 versus 2019, is quite spectacular in the south of Luxembourg. The year 22 marked a gradual return to tourism after the COVID episode. Indeed, Tourist numbers had dropped dramatically in 20 and 21 compared to the reference year 2019. The Minet region is one of the regions where tourist numbers are developing the most favorably despite a more limited accommodation offer. That is the case despite the fall in business tourism, which is affecting many cities and urban regions following the health crisis and now beha new behaviors it has induced with regard to traveling for business. For the new cultural places, the year 22 was marked by a diversity of cultural and artistic initiatives who activated spaces reflect an eclectic program. New cultural facilities were created, the restoration and renovation of existing buildings were given priority. Recent spaces have been used in unprecedented ways for culture. Finally, specific to this industrial region, some projects have rehabilitated historical industrial site, transforming them into cultural spaces, while others have used public spaces for temporary cultural activities, thus energizing the urban space. The enhancement of natural spaces was also highlighted with the creation of sustainable or temporary interactive spaces. Nearly 68% of project leaders use previously unused spaces for culture or develop new public spaces for culture. 16 new spaces were created. To conclude, we can say that the attention and international visibility brought to the region by ASH 2022 
but also other initiatives such as the UNESCO label or the focus on sustainable development created a new momentum in the region. Indeed, ASH 2022 has shown the spotlight on this cross region. It is necessary to continue efforts and initiatives to that these do not go out. Let's talk about this in five to ten years and we will see what the real impact of our common idea and efforts will be. For all of us, the future is Europe. Let's live Europe every day.